Hi again, welcome back, and today I'm going to be solving the Yusaka 2022 December Contest Bronze Problem 1, Cal College. So there's this neat picture here, and Farmer John is planning to open a new university for his cows. And there are N, which can be up to 10 to the power of 5 cows who could potentially attend this university. And each cow is going to pay a maximum tuition of c of i which can be up to 10 to the power of six and farmer john can set the tuition so that all cows uh, must pay to enroll if this tuition is greater than the maximum a cow is willing to pay then the cow will not attend the university so farmer john wants to make the most possible amount of money so he can pay his instructors a fair uh, wage and please determine how much money he can make and how much tuition he could charge okay so basically, there are going to be n cows, and each of these cows is going to pay a certain amount. And Farmer John wants to know what amount of money he should set the tuition to, so that the max uh, he can make the maximum amount of uh, money. So when we look at this at first, it looks like we're going to have to use some kind of uh, O n or yeah, O N algorithm, because its N is going to be up to 10 to the power of 5, and that's all that the time limit is going to allow for. So let's think of an O N um, solution that would fit this. So first, let's test the sample input, and let's go through each of the cows' uh, tuition, amount of tuition that they're willing to pay one by one. So N is 4, so, which means that there are 4 cows. And cow one is willing to pay one dollar, let's say dollar. Um, cow two is willing to pay six dollars, cow three four dollars, and cow cow three four dollars, and cow four six dollars. So then, uh, there are many different values we could use, but first let's try the value one. So if Farmer John sets the tuition to one, then all of these would work because every single cow would be able to pay a $1 to attend the university. And this means that each of the four cows are going to pay $1 each, so one times four is four. So Farmer John can make $4 in total. And we could check all the numbers from two to three to four, but they would have, they would each have the same amount of, uh, money that Farmer John gets, since the amount of cows that pay more than two, three, or four dollars is, um, is always going to be three. And since we're trying to make the maximum um, amount of profit, we might as well uh, set the tuition to four instead of setting it to like two or three. So now we're going to test uh, four dollars for the tuition, and we see that if we set the tuition to four, we're going to get three cows that can pay it, and three times four is going to be 12. So Farmer John is going to make $12 in total. And the next number that the cows are going to be pay, being able to pay is uh, $6. And if we set it to six zero six dollars it means that each of the cows are going, each of the two cows are going to pay $6, which means Farmer John is going to make $12. <laughs> now, if we set the tuition to $4, Farmer John makes $12, but if we set it to $6, Farmer John also makes $12. So in the output, it says that please output the maximum amount of money and the optimal tuition he should charge. If there are multiple solutions, I'll put the solution with the smallest optimal tuition. So it sh the answer should be 12 and 4, and it is. So what, we what did we do now? So we went through the pos the values that uh values of the amount of tuition that the cows are willing to pay one by one from lowest to highest and when looking in those values we checked um we we found how many cows were willing to pay that value and then we multiplied it by the tuition rate that we we uh farmer john is going to set it to and we kept on doing that, and we found the maximum value 
with the lowest uh, tuition if there are multiple solutions. So since we're going to need to uh, examine the cows one by one and see how much tuition they're willing to pay from um, in an ascending order, we're going to need to so sort this array first. So if this was one, four, six, and six, it would be a lot easier to solve because we, um, when we set the tuition to one, we know that all the cows in front of it are also going to be able to pay uh, one dollar. But if we set the tuition to four, and this is, um, this cow is willing to pay four, and this cow is willing to pay six, then we would know that all the cows, including this index and all the indexes in front of it or behind it, uh, would be able to pay for it. So it's a really fast way of counting how many cows can pay a certain tuition. And then after that, we would just have to multiply it by um, the tuition that we set it to, which is also going to be the amount that the cow is willing to pay at that specific index. And yeah, we should be able to do that. And the note here says that we might need to use long in Java. So I'll be solving it and I'll set the maximum to long since, yeah, it could definitely go past, past the integer limits. So I think we can start coding now. <laughs> okay. This is Cal College, so we import we need to import java.util and then public class Utaku Cal College 3. Okay, so first we need a scanner to uh, get the input from the standard input. So static scanner in. and let's see. So we're going to need the integer n, right? I mean, it's it's not like we're going to use a lot of data, so let's just set everything to a long, so static long n, and then let's call this um, cows, because it's going to be the amount of tuition each cow is going to pay, and we're going to need a max number, and finally, when we print this out, we're going to need an index, so we're going to be need, uh, needing to keep track of an index. And we don't need much else than that, so we can create our main. And get n using the scanner. And uh, store the input values into a. Oh wait, I'm sorry, cows. Be using a. And we can set this to int because it's long, but this takes in the integer parameter. And then we're going to have to store um, the array. So one, four, six, six. And we can do that using arrays.sort a. And that's going to automatically sort it for us. And so first, now we're going to, oh, house, yes. And now we're going to be looking um, through each individual index in the, um, in the array, cows. And then we're going to calculate how many cows are in front or behind it, which we can do using math and finding uh, the length of cows and subtracting it from the current index. And then we're going to multiply it by um, the current tuition that each cow is willing to pay. So first we set max to zero, and we set index to zero, and then for i equals zero, i is less than n, because that's the size of the array, i plus plus. So let's say that the amount of money that uh, Farmer John makes is money, so long money, equals, so it's going to be this number, right? It's going to be the number at the index we're looking at, money at a of i, and we multiply this 
by so this total length minus this uh, i. So we can do the do n minus i. So this is basically counting how many cows are in front of it, including the one at the current index. Yes. And then, so if money is greater than max, then oops, if money is greater than max, then max is going to equal money. So we're going to be saving the new uh, amount of money that farmer John can make and index equals it's going to be a of i because that's um how much farmer john is going to be charging and then at the end we just do system that out dot print lm max plus base plus index and this should work let's try it four and yeah, it outputted 12.4, so let's try running it now. And yeah, it worked. So this code works and it uh, it compiles in ON time. And yeah, I hope this video helped and thanks for watching.